Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another video. In this video, I'll be conducting another performance test and retesting the 813 Bionic chip in the iPhone 11 Pro Max by using one of the most demanding applications, Genshin Impact. As usual, I'll be testing the FPS, CPU, GPU, power consumption, and battery temps during gameplay. Make sure to check out the end of this video to see the concluding results. On another note, as another way of saying thank you to all of my subscribers, I've decided to do another free giveaway. I'll be giving away this iPhone 11 Pro Max, and to enter this giveaway, like before, all that is required is that you drop a like and comment on this video. I will enter the names of those who commented on this video and reveal the winner in my next video. So definitely stay tuned. With that being said, let's get back to this test and I'll be seeing you at the end of this video.
Fräulein.
In conclusion, the iPhone 11 Pro Max averaged 56.7 frames per second after 11 minutes of testing. As you can see, this device starts to throttle after 8 minutes of playing on max settings. However, after 10 minutes the performance starts to improve back to 60 frames per second. Another thing I would like to note is that the max game resolution for the iPhone 11 Pro Max is 800p while Android phones cap at 720p according to Golden Reviewer's research. Thus, these FPS results are definitely impressive compared to the performance of Android devices with the latest Snapdragon 888 SoC. Nevertheless, moving on to the CPU, here we can see that Genshin Impact uses on average 28.2% of the CPU in the 813 Bionic chip. These results aren't that surprising as Genshin Impact is definitely more reliant on the GPU. With that being said, moving on to the GPU, it appears Genshin Impact uses on average 87.3% of the GPU in the 813 Bionic chip. This is very impressive as I've checked and Genshin Impact actually uses roughly 86% of the 814 Bionic chip GPU. Hence, the A13 is not too far behind the A14 Bionic chip. I think what makes the A14 chip superior is power efficiency, which we will definitely see as we review device thermals. Nevertheless, as for power consumption, like the iPhone 12 Pro Max, this device also uses 5 watts of power. This is definitely quite average as many Samsung devices also use about 5 watts of power in Genshin Impact. Last, moving on to battery temperature, here we can see that this device averages around 38 Celsius. This is definitely quite high compared to the iPhone 12 Pro Max, but actually lower than my S21 Ultra device. I can definitely feel the heat when picking up this device after playing. However, the heat is not unbearable or too hot where I'm unable to touch this device, which is actually quite good. All in all, the A13 Bionic chip is quite impressive, especially knowing that this chip released in 2019. For those debating on whether to upgrade your iPhone 11 devices to the iPhone 12 series in regards to performance, I'd suggest waiting for the iPhone 13 as the A14 Bionic chip isn't that much powerful than the A13 Bionic chip other than thermals. Thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, you might as well hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. Definitely stay tuned for my next video as I'll also be announcing the winner of this iPhone 11 Pro Max. Please stay safe and see you next time.